So now let's create our application, our first application. What you need to understand is that whenever you have a Django project, every project can have many apps. So yes, this is our project, but inside this project we can have small apps and you can have as many apps as you want. Of course, the app, the apps that you have here in the project should be related in some way. And each app is going to serve a specific purpose. So let's now create our first app. So in order to create our first app, we need the terminal. And instead, instead of using the, the ex external terminal, now, from now on, I'm going to be using the internal terminal, the, the built-in terminal that comes with Visual Studio Code. Because we don't want to waste our time going uh, between two different windows. And instead, I'm going to be using the built-in terminal, which is easier to, uh, to work with. And you don't have to leave uh, the, the text editor or, or the IDE. So how can you open the, the built-in terminal? To open the built-in terminal, just click on View and then click on Terminal. And as you can see now, I have here a terminal just like the terminal that comes with my operating system. As you can see, this is a built-in terminal. And I can use it here from Visual Studio Code rather than opening another uh, window. So now let's create our first app. So to create an app, to create a Django app, you need to type the following. You need to type Python 3 and then Manage dot py and then space and then start app and then the name of the app i'm gonna name my first app blog and it's very important to know that if you are using python 2 you need to say python without 3 just python and then space and then manage dot py and then space and then start app and then space and then the name of the app here i'm gonna name it blog and if you are using, if you are, if you have just installed Python 3 without installing Python 2, you can use Python like this. But I'm going to be using Python 3. So anyways, if Python 3 doesn't work for you, try Python, just Python. Try this one. Try this one if, if Python 3 doesn't work for you. So for me, I'm going to use Python 3. But for you, if it doesn't work, use Python, just Python. Now let me hit enter. So if I hit enter, What's going to happen is that a new uh, app is going to be created. A new app has been created. As you can see here on the left side, you'll find that a new, here a new folder has been created called block. And this is called an app. This is a, an app inside the project, inside the Django project. Let me open it and walk you through the files. So if you open it, you'll find that there are files that are similar to the files that we have in the my, uh, my project. So here we have many files. The most important files are the admin, the apps, the models, and the views. So the, the admin is just, the, is just responsible for the admin whenever you want to create uh, the uh, authentication and things like that. The models is very, very important. Probably this is one of the most important files because this is going to allow you to create models. Models such as uh, such as uh, uh, users, uh, such as anything that can uh, that that is going to uh, be stored in your database should have a model class here. So this model is very important. Next we have the views. The views is simply a file that is going to define the functions that will take the user to the view or the views. And finally, we have the migrations. The migrations is going to uh, migrate or migrate or create or, and modify our database.